This episode is brought to you by War Robots. So War Robots is the tactical PvP multiplayer game that you want to be playing right now. We're talking 6v6 with over 50 million people having already downloaded the game. You get to pilot your own combat robots, gear it up with hundreds of different possible weapon combinations, and crush your opponents in battle. The graphics in the game are awesome, there's a bunch of robots, maps, and locations, and the game is available for free on both iOS and Android. So click on my link down below in the description to get 100 gold and 100,000 silver in in-game currency. But on to the speed test. Today, we're pitting the OnePlus 5 against arguably the most popular Android phone right now in the Galaxy S8. These phones share some similarities on the spec sheet, with both of them being powered by the Snapdragon 835 and both using UFS 2.1 storage. Of course, there are some differences, with the OnePlus having double the RAM at 8GB, so it'll be interesting to see not only which one is faster, but how big of a difference there is between the two, especially on that first lap, since on paper, they should perform roughly the same. So with that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so you know the drill. We'll kick things off by starting the stopwatches on each phone and then jump right into the first row of system apps, where after taking that selfie faster than the Galaxy S8, the OnePlus takes the lead, already moving on to the second row. Now, while the OnePlus 5's animations are faster than the animations on the Galaxy S8, the difference isn't anywhere near as big as it is compared to the iPhone 7 Plus. So the S8 is still right there behind it, with the OnePlus 5 only managing to put itself a half app ahead so far. However, even though both phones are using the same Snapdragon 835, it looks like the OnePlus processed that time lapse at a faster rate, adding onto its lead as both phones start working on subway surfers. Now, it'll be interesting to see if the OnePlus 5 can run away with it here in the gaming row, as OnePlus says that they have the phone ramp up its processor when loading heavy duty games. So in theory, it should outperform the S8 Plus even though they both use the Snapdragon 835 and even though they both have UFS 2.1 storage. And so far, that seems to be the case. The OnePlus 5 already moves on to Bullet Force with it loading subway surfers, flip diving, and fit the fat at a faster rate, allowing it to add on to its lead as both phones are now working on the last game here in the third row, where once again, the OnePlus 5 finishes first as it moves on to the last row here in the first lap, with it just blowing through Spotify and ESPN, putting it a full two apps ahead of the Galaxy S8, which finally finishes with Bullet Force and joins the OnePlus in the last row. But it wasn't for long, as the OnePlus 5 finishes the first lap with a time of 1 minute and 27 seconds, and begins working on the second lap, where its whopping 8 gigabytes of RAM allows it to easily keep all the apps open and ready to go in the background, creating an almost insurmountable lead over the S8, which finishes that first lap 16 seconds later with a time of 1 minute and 43 seconds, and just barely escapes the embarrassment of being lapped by the OnePlus 5, which completes the whole test only 8 seconds later with a time of 1 minute and 51 seconds. So we'll go ahead and fast forward the Galaxy S8 to the finish line, where unfortunately the S8 failed to keep most of the apps open in the background. It had to reload all the games along with Photoshop, Snapchat, and Facebook, which pushed it even further behind with it finally completing the speed test with a total time of 3 minutes and 4 seconds, making the winner and still Bumble Style speed test champ, the OnePlus 5. Here are the individual app load up times where you can see exactly where the OnePlus 5 ran away with it in the first lap, and of course the second lap was no contest with the OnePlus 5 having double the RAM. Anyways, that is it for me in this video, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.